हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी विल सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम अरे ऑफ स्क्वेयर होल इन ए ग्रेड फ्रॉम द बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट वन वन एट सो एज आई ऑलवेज सेज फॉर बेटर व्यूइंग एक्सपीरियंस यू कैन स्विच द प्ले बैक स्पीड्स सो आई फेल्ट द क्वेश्चन वॉज बिट टफ थोड़ा टफ था समझने के लिए बट आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन ए बेस्ट पॉजिबल वे एंड एज आई एक्सप्लेन यू ट्राई टू विजुअलाइज द थिंग्स इन यूर माइंड सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी क्लियरली सो फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन सो हियर देर इज ए ग्रेड विथ एम प्लस टू हॉरिजोंटल बार्स एंड एम प्लस टू वर्टिकल बार्स हाँ एंड इनशियली कंटेनिंग वन क्रॉस वन यूनिट सेल सपोज इफ यू इज गिवन इन इज इक्व टू थ्री देन ई इज सेंग दैट वी विल हैविंग एन प्लस टू हॉरिजोंटल बार्स एन प्लस टू मीन्स इफ इट इज थ्री आई विल हैव फाइव हॉरिजोंटल बार फाइव हॉरिजोंटल बार्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव and my m is equals to 4 these these are my vertical bars if m is 4 then 4 plus 2 it will be my six vertical bars hmm? i think you understood this statement the bars are one indexed he is mentioned that it will be one indexed you are given two integers n m as as we seen you are also given two arrays horizontal bars and vertical bars you will give the bars and horizontal bar contain distinct horizontal bars in the range 2 to n plus 1 from 2 to n plus 1 so he will give n and m and he is saying that my limits will start from 1 to n plus 2 and he is saying that my bars will start from 2 and it will reach till n minus 1 hmm? same applies for the vertical bars you are allowed to remove bars that satisfy any of the following condition if it is in horizontal bar it must correspond to the values in h bars so if you want to remove anything so we have a grid like this and we have bars and if you want to remove this vertical bar this should present in this indexes then only you can remove it we need to retain an integer denoting the maximum area of square shaped hole he is saying that square shaped hole not the rectangle not the rectangle rectangle means we can remove every bar every bar and we can check he is saying that square so you can see square is something which has length and breadth both are equal 3 into 3 or 4 into 4 or 5 into 5 anything which are equal which are equal so first we will see the example 1 in the example 1 n is equals to 2 that means that my index will start from 1 and it will reach till the 4 because it n plus 2 bars m is equals to 1 same thing 1 plus 2 it will reach till the 3 and he has given horizontal bars 2 3 and vertical bars 2 so here you have removed this 2 and 3 hmm? horizontal bars you have removed 2 and 3 sorry 2 and 3 this 2 and 3 here he had removed and vertical bar he had removed 2 here he two removed here 2 3 he removed after removing it you can see 2 into 2 is my square uh, square area which is possible with 2 into 2 which is 4 now let's take this example n is equals to 2 that means we have 4 horizontal bars and m is equals to 3 that means we have five vertical bars horizontal bars you can remove 2 and 3 okay i can remove 2 and 3 and you can remove 2 3 and 4 2 3 and 2 uh, 3 and 4 if you remove this 2 and 3 this so this i have removed and this i have removed so my remaining area is this you can see here this much so it will be my 3 into 3 which my area will be 9 so i think you understood the question and the input and uh, every uh, like few other aspects try to visualize it so let's see this uh, example with different scenarios now suppose we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 n is equals to 3 and m is equals to 4 n is equals to 3 that means we have five horizontal bars m is equals to 4 we have six horizontal bars and these are my horizontal bars and vertical bars respectively hmm? now 3 and 4 3 and 4 we have removed it 3 and 4 we have removed it and here 3 4 we have removed so here you can see 2 to 5 how much my area is remaining 3 2 to 5 my area is 3 so here my answer will be 9 9 okay if you if you observe if you observe we have removed you removed 3 and 4 here we have removed 3 and 4 then it satisfying okay let's see one more scenario let's say this 
so same thing and we have removed 4 and 5 okay we have removed 4 and 5 and we have removed 2 and 3 2 and 3 still we got 3 cross 3 still we got 3 into 3 we have removed horizontal we have uh, sorry we have removed vertical things which are which are adjacent to each other if you if you see if you uh, if you see here these are adjacent to each other and we have removed it we have removed it suppose if you have two here if it is saying two four five two four five suppose you are removing two here this will contribute into our answer if you remove this vertical bar is it will contribute into our answer no right because we have three present three will say i am restricted you can't come here you can't contribute to my answer that's why we only need the consecutive things consecutive thing. here we have removed two three here we have removed two three and two three rod we have removed we got three into three which is nine now let's say one more example here we have removed two three four five yes we have removed two three four five and here we have removed only three three we have removed here if you remove two three four five here i am getting my answer as five you can make it size until five four two here mostly i can make till two so here what i will do i will calculate the minimum of five comma two which is my minimum then from minimum i will do x into x i i need minimum i should calculate the minimum of horizontal and vertical and here you understood right suppose you have two so if i remove this horizontal this vertical bar then it will not contribute to your answer so we required only things which are adjacent to each other if they are adjacent to each other if these are adjacent to each other then only it will contribute to my answer if you are removing uh, now suppose if you think 3 5 and 7 3 5 and 7 consider this as 3 and this as 5 and this as 7 if you are removing 3 4 will my 4 will restrict if you remove uh, if you remove 5 the 6 will restrict me to the answer so it should definitely be continuous continuous and we will sort it it will be continuous and we will sort it and we will sort and we will check how many maximum continuous elements i will get in the horizontal bar and maximum continuous elements in the vertical bars then in this both we will calculate the minimum try to visualize the things so that it will be very much easy for you it does not depend on indexes which indexes we are removing it only depends which how many bars we are removing how many continuous horizontal bars and vertical bars we are removing that is the important thing here so let's understand the code first we are sorting it to calculate the things which are consecutive only we required only consecutive elements so we are sorting horizontal bars and vertical bars and we are pushing into the h is my horizontal v is my vertical i have pushed into it so sorry i uh, <laughs> we can directly use horizontal bars and vertical bars order sorting but i have <laughs> used extra variable sorry for that and here mv and mh maximum vertical and maximum horizontal it will be one c is equals to one i will start from here if h of i and h of i minus 1 if both are equal if we have 2 and 3 in my horizontal bars then i will increment my answer and i will calculate the maximum horizontal bars i can present then in the same with the vertical bars maximum vertical bars i can present and we are incrementing plus 1 suppose uh, if you see the, this scenario only this scenario we have removed 3 and 4 we have removed 3 and 4 here how many here one we can form here two and here three so this thing if you remove two it will be plus one plus one right if you remove two it will be increment plus one so mh plus one mv plus one and we are returning x into x so here uh, you can see the time complexity we are sorting it so it will be order of n into log n and remaining thing are happening in the plus order of n so overall my time complexity would be uh, this one order of n into log n and we are using extra space here but it is not required if you are not using any extra space it will be order of 1 i think you understood this solution if you understand this solution please please do like and subscribe to my channel and one special request is that and the in the solution in the description i have kept the solution link you can click there and please do upvote so that other students can also benefit from this tutorials and thank you for watching